I love video games, man. Very brave statement to make. Some viewers may find this stuff offensive. I can't believe we need a note for that. We live in a society. <laughs> I'm offended by the trigger warning. Actually. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. The kicks, man, the kicks. Oh my God, it's Jeff. And yes, we do have a very special grand finale that you're not gonna want to miss. All I'll say right now. Mm -hmm. game, the first reveal is something you're not expecting, which makes it that much more exciting. The prince has been kidnapped and taken to a Wait, Prince of land. Persia? All hope I had a friend. I used to watch the them mortals, play. To rescue him and save the empire. Didn't expect that. The Lost Crown, January 18th on all platforms. This Soft is such forward, like an interesting way to start Monday the show. It's time for Mortal Kombat 1. All right, so here's the Mortal Kombat. I'm going to stand. It is Everybody time stand for, for your national no spoilers. anthem. This video is literally insane. Mortal Kombat Here. 1. Oh, that was cool. Huh? Oh my god, the flamingo floaty in the back. That's all I care about. Oh god! Holy shit! Holy shit! How are you alive? I never have played the Mortal Kombat series. I've watched tournaments of it though. They're very fascinating to watch in a tournament. The guys in the background are so jarring to compare, like if you look at the foreground versus the background. <laughs> These guys are like going off at each other and then the background guys are like... If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Oh, oh I've seen a lot of cosplays of this. Blood. I don't know this character. I've just seen the cosplay everywhere. Oh, Jesus! Finish. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> That's so brutal. That's that's his whole spine. Here is your first look at a raw gameplay capture from Path of Exile 2. I know that I would like playing Path of Exile. I feel like that's a game I would genuinely really enjoy. Dang, she's a badass. All right, Street Fighter 6 again. I feel like I've been seeing so much Street Fighter 6 for like two years at every event. Robo Ryu. Yes. It's a collab. I'm guessing Ryu from Street Fighter facing off against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's show. That Street How does Fighter he know? There's nothing more powerful than imagination. We can shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. Well, that's Nicolas Cage. And then what? What the? YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how these things happen. But... <laughs> that is like the most random. I figured the I easiest way to find seen. out. Ed's bold creative choices have earned him an Academy Award and a few memes on the internet across more a than A few memes on the internet. A few. Of incredible films. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicholas Cage! He's here! <laughs> Happy to meet you. I gotta understand, how did this come about? I mean, how? Some be like, oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be in a Hideo Kojima how? game. How? But Dead by Daylight. I mean, how does this happen? Well, it's a, it's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And oh my God. When I make movies, one of my favorite genres is horror. And in this, and, and in that genre, there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. 
That's what, yeah, I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors <laughs> in this game. Somebody well, very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast, okay. and, and that really put the uh, hook in. Ha, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Branch Please. out. To, I've never <laughs> been invited into this. <laughs> I'm just that really shook at how random that was. Nick and here's an exclusive first look at Nicolas Cage in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Oh. Wow, look at look at him go. Very wow. Right much me. much wow. Very uh cool. Yep. Oh god, what is this? Oh, I'm actually surprised this is the first game that we're seeing that's a first person shooter. It took them 28 minutes to get to the first shooter. What the hell? Oh, is that what that game is? Dark Souls with guns? Right, it actually looked interesting. Summer game fest to I don't come, know if I'd play it, but it did look interesting. Play of global game announcement. New thrills with a classic feel. Oh. What the? Uh? What the hell? This was the last thing on my YouTube enlist, man. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh, the pixels! I have never played a Sonic game in my life, but this would give me an excuse to do so. Because I like the classic Sonic feel. Sonic Superstars. Look at it more friendly, okay. <gasps> that's a badass puppet. God damn it, Jesus Christ. Don't do that to me, Jesus YouTube. Christ, that's not... Oh my God. Dude, I had a YouTube heart attack. <laughs> that was not cool. I just can't believe how much my heart actually skipped like several beats. <laughs> I'm out of breath just from that jump scare. Looks cool, Lies of nice P. Landing, but, uh... Let's not make it a habit. Yep, uh, looks great. Now the lies of Persona. Now it's time for the reveal of a visually stunning new game based on a classic manga with a story and world created by one of the most celebrated anime artists of all time. Which manga anime? No, I don't know it. I feel like I would have picked up on it by now, I don't. Creator of Dragon Ball. I really, really like the art a lot. Sandland. I've never heard of it. Independent games are such an important part of the industry. Indy! And one thing that's very important to us at Summer Game Fest is supporting those creators as well. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. I, I am, oh, it's Dre! That's the only one I'm gonna know. I'm not very familiar with Indy. Oh, that's a, a journey, the the journey game. I forget the company. Wonder Maybe DLC on Stray though, I don't end. know. Next, we're stepping into the world of Throne and Liberty, a free to play PC and console MMORPG from NCSoft and Amazon Games. <laughs> yeah, they lost me at Amazon Games. Can we all agree that Amazon just needs to like stay out of the gaming industry? I just want them to YouTube right off. Looks generic. It's about what you would expect out of Amazon, right? Hey, this is not. Why can't I? Aw, Dizzy. <laughs> We're playing that one. I want to play Party Animals. The Crash Bandicoot game. <laughs> this makes me so sad. Alan Wake 2 is Remedy's first survival horror game. We have two playable characters. Face it's a the 50, audience. 50, 50 split between them. Face the audience. They are on their own separate terrifying journeys through two different worlds. And yet <laughs> it's all... <laughs> He's uh, having a moment that's with a good question. The cameraman fixed the problem. Course, together with her partner, yeah. Alex Casey. Okay. 
So yeah. how, and, uh, and they're somehow linked in some way, right? I'm not gonna story. lie, that was like so uh, adorable. Miriam it's the aw uh, social awkward, not the oh no social awkward. Thank you, yes. The investigation but you can tell he's also very passionate on. about what he's talking about. To, this is early on from the experience. <laughs> they're hyped, uh, Sam, they're ready for it. Yeah, there you go, there's the audience. They're excited so to see us, you. What, what are we Come see? on, you got uh, this. And, and uh, Saga is I wanna like cheer him on. Like, you got this, you can do this. What the f That wasn't a deer for a second. Still coffee. Oh man, a galactic war! Whoa, look at all these aliens! The Imperium needs me! My That's crazy! Is it? What? What this? Pixels. My potato! Whoa! Brutal pixel game. Not the potatoes. Yes, your grace. Well, this August brings the long-awaited full 1.0 release of Baldur's Gate 3. And Finally! today, a new member is joining the cast. We're about to see the reveal of Lord Emver Gortash, the commander of a mechanical army of Steel Watchers. Defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies oh, YouTube. within and without. Gods have mercy on those who would oh stand my God. in way. A mad dog understands I haven't heard the that the name in a long time. Its master. Jason Isaacs. It cannot be an equal. Let us usher in a new dawn. This city is mine. He's good. I'm not ready. I didn't know he did voice acting. Doctor. This fall, Marvel Games and Insomniac are set to bring Spider-Man 2. Can you tell what's the origin of uh, Eddie Brock Venom? Or? It is not Eddie Brock. Our goal was to tell an original story, something yes. you haven't seen in the comics or the movies yet. Obviously, wow. we love Venom for a reason. Yeah. All those things you love about the character oh. are going to be there. But how the story plays out. Who Rewriting Venom. Venom. You have to play the game to see Bold. it. Now let's take a look at Power World, a multiplayer open world survival crafting game where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called POW who can also fight. In other words, it's kind of like Pokemon with guns. <laughs> and then What? Oh my God. Wait, that's actually Pokemon with guns. What the? YouTube. Hobbits and elves know. Oh, what? With Golem 2 confirmed. Mine. Just kidding. Golem sweep. It's a building game. It looks like a building game. Like Minecraft, but with Lord of the Rings. Oh, never mind. Return to Moria. I'll take a pass, man. No Golem 2. I'm depressed. All right, now we're going to look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary franchise. For iOS... Is this a Sephiroth dating simulator? Sephiroth dating sim. Please. Wait! Did they just put Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core on mobile? The originals. Wait. Wait, what's happening? Of course it's gotcha. That's what Square does. Is there a single Square game where they didn't do that? Dude, if there was a Sephiroth dating sim, I would be buying that. <laughs> Yeah, it thinks I want to die. Anyway, so Sephiroth dating sim sounds wonderful. When are we getting that shit? Now, speaking of Final Fantasy. No, 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 no. 
Today during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get Are you kidding me? You get a what is with this? YouTube. You order from Taco Bell using the code GameFest. Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16 <sighs> prize pack. We're never getting around. Rebirth. I wonder if they close the whole show with Rebirth. They might. That's a that's a big title. They it's might close the show, show with it. I want to live. I just like God thinking about Rebirth. I just really want to see a render of Vincent Valentine, but he's probably not going to be in it. Vincent is the character I'm looking forward to the most, <laughs> but he's probably going to be a DLC. He's going to get the UV treatment. <gasps> is this the same trailer though? I don't know if this is new. Judy. Oh my god! Footage. トラブル発生。車は待っ。さもなきゃ。これから起きることは全部お前らの選んだ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガッ。ガ
Still That's a good way to advertise. From Ascendant Studios, a single player, first person magic shooter called Immortals of Avium. It's fast and fluid. It's an FPS in a fantasy setting, kind of like Doom with magic. It also has a great ca cast led by Darren Barnett. <gasps> a great the main cat! Character Jack, and he Jeff joins said us that now. the hey, game Darren? had a great hey, cat. Already is. And we're still losing. Isn't, uh, I, I don't, all these games start to look the same to me. Like the first person. Wasn't this shown at the Game Awards in December? I mean, it does look cool. All the graphics look the same to me. Like the games that I remember every single showcase that ever happens anymore in the gaming industry. Like I always, remember the art styles not pretty graphics H like photorealism stuff I, I it all just blends together man i feel like this game would be more interesting if it wasn't first person though i don't understand i, I don't know like the, this game genuinely looks interesting i'm just not sure about the decision for first person it seems weird I really would like this game as a third person. It actually looks really interesting. Now, one game that constantly reinvents itself is Fortnite. And tomorrow, Chapter 4, Season 3 Wilds launches. And Fortnite. today, Summer Yay. Game Fest is going to be doing the cinematic trailer to pre- Well, finally, guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. Rebirth! And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What Rebirth. you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. Yes! This game you said again, he said again. surprised the world and redefined the RPG genre ah! with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. Rebirth! The rumors were true. The rumors are true! We're still here at the scene of this terrible Sector two, let's go! a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Oh my god. Amidst <gasps> the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Oh, oh shit, Jesus Christ. <sighs> wow, just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, uh, it's still going strong. It oh my god! Way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Oh. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? I forget the first and town's name. Like Lewin or this? Calm? This Calm. is gonna sound crazy, but. As far oh, as the, I know, the Chocobo Stables! God was never in Nibelheim five years ago. The life stream. Wait, that's Cosmo Canyon! So it this covers the Cosmo Canyon! Of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. His grandfather. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Oh my god. Sephiroth <gasps> was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Oh, that's so trippy, the fades. Well, it's like, now, what's real anymore? We Angered it more like. Oh my god, just red and bear it on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. She may be new, but she's still a <laughs> I'm waiting to see Gold Talk. Oh my God, that was Junon. That's insane. Look at Junon in the back. That's huge. Wait, Yuffie's in the game? I thought she was just DLC. Keep her away from me! 
They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate. Those you fear. Those you love. Free. Oh. You murdered my dad! Oh. You burned my village! Oh my god! Do you know that I killed her? So, who is she? Oh. Dude, not enough! Not enough, not enough, not enough. Two discs? Are you YouTube? Me too. There discs? you have it. That was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early 2024 to PlayStation 5. First I was really hoping Sunday. to see right now, though, the Golden Saucer. The they didn't show I any of that. I don't think I saw any Gold Saucer in the background. Game like, if they make it to Cosmo Canyon and Nibelheim, the they have hour. to go through we'll see like, you Golden this Corral. Summer, later this summer, um, on August 22nd for Golden Gamescom Saucer, they didn't show any of that. No Kate Sith either. Yeah. I wonder if he's cut out like i don't know are they like cutting content so if this game is two discs that means this game is like 500 gigs right i can only imagine like the scale of this game i was really hoping when they announced the rebirth trailer we would get somewhat of a glimpse at how long the or like what the story covers so like it only went up to nibelheim which is not enough of the game like there's so much game after that point in the story so it's not really that far into the final fantasy 7 story if they put yuffie in the main game that means that maybe they'll put like vincent in the main game eventually right